This is the new Freestyle Libre 3 Plus, the world's smallest, thinnest and most discreet CGM sensor. But is it really worth it? I've been wearing it for two months and in this video I'm breaking down all the upgrades Libre 3 Plus brings to the table, how accurate and reliable it is in real life and whether it's a good fit for you. I'll also cover major changes that Abbott is making to their portfolio that will impact all of us very soon, so please don't miss it. Just to be clear, I'm not sponsored by them, I paid for all the sensors myself and as always I'll give you my honest, unfiltered opinion. Let's go. Libre 3 Plus got a number of upgrades to Libre 3, but the basics stayed the same. You apply a small sensor that has a size of two stacked pennies on the back of your upper arm and it collects your glucose data from the fluid under your skin. Your receiving device will provide you with real-time, minute-by-minute information about your glucose. The system also uses a set of customizable alarms to notify you whenever your glucose raises too high or drops too low. Now, if you're watching carefully, you might have spotted a couple upgrades already. The whole Freestyle Libre portfolio has been rebranded and so the packaging of Libre 3 Plus has a fresh new look, which feels cooler and a bit less medical. I like it, but the shiny looking box is not gonna cut it, so let's get a bit deeper. In the package I found two things, a quick start guide and all-in-one sensor slash applicator, which is pretty much what I expected. Now before I talk more about my experience with Libre 3 Plus, I want to quickly highlight the most notable upgrades. Number one is extended sensor lifetime. The Libre 3 Plus sensors are designed to last 15 days, so one day more than the 14-day lifespan of the original Libre 3 sensors. Upgrade number two is all about insulin pumps integration. Libre 3 Plus sensors come with an IZGM status, which means that they can integrate with insulin pumps to form a hybrid closed loop. I'll dive deeper and share what specific insulin pumps are compatible a bit later in this video. Upgrade number three is really exciting, especially for parents of the little ones, because Libre 3 Plus sensors are cleared for children as young as two years old. The older versions were only good for four years and up. But of course, Libre 3 Plus works for adults of all ages, including pregnant women. Upgrade number four is a brand new Libre app. This one came completely out of nowhere, but it's quite a big upgrade. The new app has a modern look and a couple of new features. I'll be showing you more in a minute. Now there is actually one more upgrade that nobody is talking about, and it's probably because it's quite tricky to explain. I'll do my best to do that a bit later in this video, but first let me show you how I put my first Libre 3 Plus on. I did it according to the instructions. I cleaned the back of my arm with an alcohol wipe first and let it dry for about half a minute. Unfortunately, there are no alcohol wipes in the package, so I had to use my own stash. The Libre 3 Plus applicator looks exactly the same as the Libre 3 applicator, but when I went to unscrew the cap, I noticed that the seal was much tighter than it used to be. I'm not a weak guy, but I struggled with it for a bit. It takes a lot of force to break the seal. Now, I'm not sure what exactly changed here, but I'm wondering if someone with less strength than I have might struggle unscrewing the cap. So watch out for that and maybe let me know in the comments if you experienced the same thing with Libre 3 Plus or if I just had a bad batch. By the way, now is the only time when you you can spot the needle, but don't worry, because as long as you don't put the sensor too close to a muscle, you won't feel any pain. I placed the sensor applicator over the back of my upper arm and I pushed down firmly to apply the sensor. Then I slowly pulled the sensor applicator away and gently pressed on top of the sensor to ensure it's securely in place. The back of the arm is the only officially approved site for these sensors, so if you apply them anywhere else, it is at your own risk. Now what I absolutely love about Libre 3 Plus is how sleek and tiny the sensor is. It has exactly the same form factor as its predecessor, Libre 3. Same material, same matte surface and same shade of white color. And that's a good thing, because that makes the Libre sensors very discreet. The closest competitor, Dexcom G7, is noticeably bigger and one and a half times thicker than Libre 3 Plus. During the two months of my testing, the tiny Libre 3 Plus sensor didn't snag on anything. It didn't bother me when I lay on it in bed and it felt very discreet. I would even go as far as to say that when it comes to form factor, Libre 3 is the best sensor I ever tried. Now another cool thing about the Libre 3 Plus sensors is that they do not require an overtape. And I didn't use one to cover my first sensor because I wanted to see how well it stays on. The adhesive didn't irritate my skin and although it started to peel off a bit around day 10, it was nothing dramatic and the sensor made it through day 15 without any issues. But if you want to be on the safe side, you might want to put an overtape on. I usually do this about halfway through the sensor lifetime and the 
patches I like to use are from Skin Grip. I'll link them down below with a discount code for you in case you need to get some for the summer. When it comes to viewing your data from the sensor, you have two options. The mobile app on your phone or a dedicated Libre 3 reader. To activate the sensor, you need to click on Scan New Sensor and hold the top of your phone close to the sensor for a couple seconds or until you hear a sound. The sound starts a 60 minute warm up and once that's over, you will start receiving the glucose readings in the app. Unfortunately, you can't use both the phone and the reader at the same time because each sensor can only feed the data to one device at a time, which is a pity. But during my test, I was wearing two sensors. So I connected one with my phone and the other one with the reader. That way I could compare the results and my experience. Officially, the Bluetooth range is 33 feet or 10 meters. So it's best to keep your receiving device in the same room where you are. But from my experience, the signal can travel through a couple walls just fine. I rarely lost the signal from the sensor and whenever I did, it came back within a couple minutes. A clear advantage of the phone app is that you don't need to spend an extra 75 bucks for the reader and you don't need to carry another device with you. Plus you get access to the new features in the new Libre app, which I will show you in a minute. But of course, the data transfer will drain your phone battery. On the other hand, the reader lets you keep your diabetes data separate from your phone and you can leave your phone behind, which is kind of nice sometimes. It also works as a standalone blood glucose meter, which can be useful as Libre 3 Plus isn't always perfectly accurate. We'll get to accuracy in a minute. The reader's battery lasts for about three days and I was able to fully charge it within an hour. But let's be honest, I'm not a big fan of the reader overall. The touchscreen experience is nothing to write home about and the screen itself gets scratched easily. So let me tell you more about the brand new app. The app got a fresh look as part of the Libre rebranding. And when I compare it to the old Freestyle Libre 3 app, which by the way can still be used with Libre 3 Plus sensors, I have to admit that the new app looks a lot better. By the way, during the first 12 hours of each sensor, you will see a blood drop icon next to your glucose value. And that means that you should not rely on the sensor readings for any medical decisions during that time. Now the new app has all the familiar features than we are used to, like the home screen with the minute by minute glucose readings, the trend arrow, and the 12 hour graph. You'll also find the usual insights like time in range, average glucose and daily patterns. These reports have a new look, but the content hasn't really changed. I noticed the biggest improvement in the alarm section. You can still customize the low and high glucose alarms just like in the old app, but on top of that, Abbott has added the option to silence all the alarms for up to six hours. Really nice feature. The only alarm that cannot be turned on is the urgent low. Now, I personally feel that Abbott has made a step in a good direction with the new app but I also feel there is still quite a bit of room for improvement. A big issue I have with the Libre app is that there is no way to zoom in and out on the graph to see the detail of what's happening right now or what's been happening in the past couple hours. Another thing I'm still missing is a smartwatch app version. It's year 2025 and Abbott still doesn't let you view your glucose readings on the watch. The only thing you can get on the watch are notifications of any low and high glucose alerts. But for me, that's not enough. And that's why I've been using the Libre app along with another app to get some extra features. The app I'm talking about is called Sweet Dreams and it provides a more user-friendly experience to view my glucose data. The time intervals in the Sweet Dreams app are fully customizable as well as the height of my glucose graph. The app can also display my glucose readings and graph on the lock screen of my phone, which by the way is my absolute favorite feature. It allows me to see all the information I need without even touching my phone. Look at that. It's a game changer. Another thing Sweet Dreams does really well is that it allows me to view my glucose readings directly on my watch face because it has an actual watch app. By the way, the app works with all versions of Freestyle Libre and Dexcom sensors and it's available in the App Store. If you want to know more, I have a full review of this app on my channel and you can watch it after this. But now we need to talk about accuracy of Libre 3 Plus and my overall experience with this system. A common benchmark used in clinical studies to evaluate accuracy of CGNs is mean absolute relative difference or MART. The lower the MART, the more accurate the CGM. Libre 3 Plus has a MART of 8.2%, which is exactly on par with Dexcom G7 and slightly worse than the original Libre 3 sensor, which had a MART of 7.9%. But to be honest, the tiny difference in these percentages doesn't really mean anything in real life. I've used Libre 3 Plus for two months and I did dozens and dozens of finger pricks to check how accurate the sensor readings were. And I'm happy to report that 90% of the time they were very accurate. As you can see from the photos 
I'm showing on the screen. Even during times when my glucose was rising or dropping relatively fast, the sensor was picking up on those sharp movements really well with minimum lag time. The only time when I struggled a bit was the first couple days of each sensor, when it was showing slightly lower numbers compared to my glucometer, but nothing dramatic. By the way, the Libre 3 Plus sensors are factory calibrated. That means that you don't have to do any finger pricks to calibrate them to your blood reading. And that's a good thing. But what I don't love so much, and what I've always criticized Freestyle Libre sensors for, is that this system doesn't give us the option to recalibrate the sensor whenever we need to. Unfortunately, this is still the case with Libre 3 Plus, and that makes me sad. Next up, let's talk about insulin pump integration with Libre 3 Plus. If you're not a pump user, don't go just yet. You'll still want to hear an important announcement on the future of Freestyle Libre sensors. It's coming up shortly. You can always skip ahead using the timestamps below. So Libre 3 Plus now works with insulin pumps to create a hybrid closed loop. As of May 2025, it's compatible with the Islet from Beta Bionics, Twist from SQL MedTech in the US, and My Life Loop in a number of European countries. I got to test the My Life Loop system with Libre 3, and it was an amazing experience. I'll link my full review below, so feel free to check it out right after this. When it comes to Omnipod 5 and Tandem's Control IQ, they currently integrate with Libre 2 Plus in many countries, including US. They do not support the Libre 3 Plus integration just yet, but they are working on it. And things have been moving quite fast lately, so I think it's very possible that Omnipod and Tandem will work with Libre 3 Plus later this year. But what do I know? I'll put a link down below where you can check out the latest status of pump integration for all Libre sensors. Now before I share my final verdict on Libre 3 Plus, I want to mention a few more things that I observed during my review. These don't get talked about much, but I think they're worth highlighting. Number one, Libre 3 Plus is not fully waterproof. It is water resistant in up to one meter of water or three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. I took showers with it and I swam with it for about an hour and it did just fine. But keep in mind that the Bluetooth doesn't work well underwater, so you will need to step out of the pool to get your reading update. In situations like this, having minute by minute readings is really helpful, because you won't have to wait very long to get an update. Number two, as the glucose readings update every 60 seconds, I kind of like to just sit back and watch how the numbers change. I'm a bit weird, I know. But there is one thing I don't like about these frequent changes. With Libre 3 Plus, I'd be let's say at 100 sometimes, and then suddenly I drop to 93. Quite a big change, 7 units per minute. And this kind of drop makes you think, if it keeps going down this fast, I'll be really low really soon, right? So do I need to eat something? But a minute later, the number goes back to 97 and then to 99. So my blood sugar is actually stable and the CGM is kind of confusing me a bit here. All the other sensors I've used only updated every five minutes. This kind of confusion didn't really happen with them. And this is a reminder that we should not only look at the absolute number, we should always look at the arrow as well. Because in the situation I just described, the arrow was straight line the whole time. It didn't indicate that I'm dropping really fast. Number three, and this is actually the upgrade that I mentioned was a bit tricky to explain, so bear with me. See, all the previous versions of the Libre sensor could only store the data in the sensor itself for eight hours. Whenever I left my phone behind for longer than that, I would end up with a hole in the graph and I would lose all the data that was older than those eight hours. But the Libre 3 Plus sensors have memory storage of 15 days, in the sensor. And this means that the sensor can store all the data even if it's not connected to anything for days. And whenever you do reconnect, all the data gets transferred to your receiving device, which I think is pretty amazing. Number four, the new Libre app has a bunch of cool things. You can use it in a bright mode and a dark mode. The app allows you to narrow down your target range from the default 70 to 80 mg per deciliter to pretty much anything you want. And you have this plus button located conveniently on the home screen, which allows you to easily add various events like food, exercise, insulin, or any notes. Number five, one thing I don't love about all the Libre apps, including the new one, is that there is no way to snooze and repeat my high glucose alarm. The alarm only goes off once when I cross the set level. It doesn't repeat until I go back to range and cross that level again. But when my blood sugar goes high and stays high, I kind of like to get another reminder a couple hours later so I can take more insulin. Unfortunately, that's not possible with the native Libre app. And you you guessed it, sweet dreams can do it. 
Number six, Libre3 Plus also allows you to share your glucose data with up to 20 caregivers or family members. You can activate the data sharing in the profile tab. And when you do that, your followers will be able to view your real-time glucose and to receive customized notification about your glucose levels on their smart devices using the Libre Link Up app. By the way, the Sweet Dreams app that I mentioned earlier is also using one of the LinkUp app accounts to get your data into that app and show it to you on the lock screen of your phone or on your watch. And of course, Libre3 Plus also allows you to view your data on a computer more holistically and share it with your medical team using the Libre View app, just like all the other older Freestyle Libre versions. Number seven, Libre3 Plus is not very good when it comes to direct integration with third-party apps. Although it works really well with Sweet Dreams using the LinkUp account, it doesn't work with Apple Health, for example, which I think is a shame. Number eight, when it comes to removing the Libre3 Plus sensor after 15 days of use, it can happen that the sensor is stuck really well and you're having trouble taking it off. An easy way to fix this issue is just rubbing a little bit of oil on the adhesive and letting it sit for a few minutes. This will loosen the adhesive and make it much easier to peel off the sensor. Of course, you can buy adhesive remover wipes as well, but any oil will do the job. Guys and girls, if Libre3 Plus caught your interest, you might be wondering, how much does this bad boy cost and to when it will be available in my country? And is the new Libre app already available? The Libre3 Plus sensors are currently available in the US and a number of Western European countries. Hopefully, more countries will be added to the list soon. I bought Libre3 Plus sensors in Germany and the price was the same that I used to pay for the old Libre3 sensors. It was around 70 euros. Of course, your price might be different depending on your specific situation and your insurance coverage. The new Libre app is available for both iPhone and Android. And the good news is it works not only with Libre3 Plus sensors, it also supports Libre2, Libre3 and Libre2 Plus sensors. You can download it from the App Store or Google Play Store, but please keep in mind that at the time of recording this video, the app is only available in the US and it's not compatible with non-US sensors. My gut feeling is that this app will be rolled out in many more countries in 2025, but again, what do I know? And here is the big change that Abbott is making to their portfolio in many countries that you need to know about. They are discontinuing the old Libre2 and Libre3 sensors and replacing them with Libre2 Plus and Libre3 Plus. In the US, for example, Libre2 and 3 sensors will only be available through the end of September 2025. And I've seen similar things happening in the other countries as well. So if you're using one of these older models, please talk to your healthcare provider and check if you need a new prescription or if you need to switch to new sensors. Now, before I tell you whether or not I'll continue using Libre3 Plus myself, I want to share a few thoughts on who I think should try the system and who should stay away. If you're just getting started with this TGM and you're looking for an easy to use discrete functional solution without too many bells and whistles, this bad boy is a good fit. Also, if you've been using Freestyle Libre sensors for a while and you're happy with them, I don't think there is any reason to not upgrade to Libre 3 Plus. But if you're looking for a more sophisticated CGM solution that can connect to more insulin pumps, to more third-party apps, and that allows for more customization and calibration, then you should probably look elsewhere. For example, in the direction of Dexcom G7. What I enjoyed the most about Libre 3 Plus is how tiny and good looking the sensor is and it didn't give me many compression lows at night. It was really nice and I think Libre3 Plus is a great product overall. But the thing is, I use the Omnipod insulin pump and my go-to automated insulin delivery system is Loop, which is a DIY solution. My setup works really well and I'm not willing to give it up. And my issue is that the Libre3 Plus encryption makes it impossible to use the sensor in my setup. It just doesn't work. And that's why I decided to stick with Dexcom again. Now the thing is, Libre3 Plus and Dexcom G7 are not the only CGMs on the market. In fact, I recently tested another new CGM that you might have never heard of. Go ahead and click this video to find out what it is. I will see you there. Ciao.